Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. Welcome to the Geek Group, where today we are doing an experiment in hard drive death. What we've got is a basic Pentium 4 desktop computer that is booted off this thumb drive down here. So that's a, just an 8 gig Toshiba thumb drive with a uh, Ubuntu Live CD on it. And it has a regular, nothing special, Fireball 3 IDE Mac Store hard drive. It's a, a 40 gig. So you can see the screen of the computer over here. We have the drive here. And this drive has a special modification. Just mere moments ago, I cut the seal all the way around, took sticker off, and took screws out. The hard drive is still intact. We, we haven't actually broken the seal yet. But I got the screws there, which we're not going to need. And what we're going to do is the, the, we're playing chicken with a hard drive, basically. We're going to take the cover off, which will expose the hard drive to the air, and see if this particular hard drive will live long enough to actually install Linux onto it. So that's the goal, is to see if we can make it all the way to installing Linux. So I'm going to grab my trusty Swiss Army knife, pop the cover off this drive, and we'll begin. Now, what are the, what are the bets for the crew? The bet is $5, all right? What do you think? Will we make it? I'll say yeah. You say yeah? 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes? minutes? You're saying 20 minutes and it's dead? All right, I'm saying it'll make it. He says it makes it. And Corey is so a pessimist. I say it doesn't make it. Yeah, you're, you're saying it doesn't make it. All right, it is now, we've now broken the seal. The drive is exposed. There you can see the actual drive itself. And this is the only drive in the machine. I'm going to move it a little bit so that you can see the armature, so you can see everything working, so you know this is completely real. We're not, we're not faking anything here. Now, I'm going to start the installation. There's the installer. Now, also in the shot, I'm going to put my watch on the drive right here next to it so that you can see, like if we cut away, if this takes a long time, you'll be able to see it. So there's my watch right next to the drive. Everything's completely visible. There's no weird mojo here because I'm sure if this takes like 20 minutes, nobody wants to sit and watch this go for 20 minutes. So we'll just put the watch there to show what happened and when. Now I'll click forward because we want English. And you know, you guys get to learn how to install Linux while we do this. Um, New York time is fine. We're actually in Michigan, but it's the same. Um, USA keyboard. Close that a little bit so you guys can kind of see, as long as we're not blocking that on it. There. All right, now we uh, erase and use the entire disk. Because you shouldn't sign on fall. This? Might lose the bet. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to fall. It's, it's, it takes a little bit of force to move it. Um, what is your name? Here, I'll just start typing. I'll just go geek. Logging automatically, forward. Install. All right, we are now actually installing. And I can, I can move this out of the way. And you can see the drive starting to access. You can actually see the armature of the drive under here. Accessing, that's the bearing right there. There's the armature. Here's the voice coil, obviously, and there's the platen. So we're just going to let this go and see if it'll make it through the entire installation process. I'll be back. All right, it's now a quarter after five. Um, it officially quit doing anything uh, at about, like, what, three minutes after five? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we wanted to give it about 10 minutes just to be sure. So it's, it's officially dead, but the armature is still doing stuff. Um, Looking at the screen, put my watch back on here. If you look at the screen, take a, take a look over here. We can see it got to the formatting swap space in partition number five of SCSI 1, SDA, and uh, didn't get anywhere past that. So it's, it's not nearly as entertaining as I was hoping. I was hoping to get an actual head crash, like, like with noise and pain and death, and we didn't get any of that. So I'm going to grab it and stop it. I want to see if we can get Linux to actually blast some kind of error. Spin up! Spin up! Hard drive CPR. You can do it! 
You can do it. Yeah, it's hosed. Totally hosed. Other things you never want to do, ever, is like unplug the hard drive while the computer's running. That's just, that's just a bad idea. So that's pooched. And we'll, uh, we'll just... Oh, hey! It failed. <laughs> All right, so here's the drive. Drive is screwed. And the drive goes in the drawer now because we had uh, some people asking a while back. It's my Ubuntu disk. I now have a matched pair of duplicate hard drives right there. You can see them. Duplicate dead hard drives. So we can do the uh, little electric cart project. Yeah. So anybody who wants to uh, tackle the project of making a controller for those to make a little cart, we can do that. So tune in next time when we're going to autopsy this. This is an old, old SCSI drive, so we'll get to look at the differences, and uh, we'll compare this to the more modern day ones. So you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. Please remember to rate, comment, and by all means subscribe. We do so dearly love it when you subscribe. And kick a buck. Donate. A dollar, five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, whatever works for you. I don't, I really, I don't care if it's a single dollar. But it, we've got like two and a half million people watching these. If we can get like every other person out there to donate a buck, we could have Avalon. How cool would that be? So kick a buck. Avalon at thegeekgroup.org is a PayPal address. You guys have fun. I'm Chris. That's Corey. That's Rob. I'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.